Welcome back to Ask Allison. Here's today's question. How do you respond to clients giving you work they've done, i.e. musician giving you CDs of their music, et cetera, or referring you to their websites, podcasts, et cetera? I feel resistance to engaging, can't really explain why, but then I also feel like it's a chance to gain some insight. Possibly, I end up feeling either A, awkward for not listening, reading, et cetera, and worry they might feel rejected or that I'm not interested, or B, awkward because I feel obligated to, to let them know I listened or whatever, and then feel like I'm obligated to compliment out of courtesy. So I'd love to thank Therapy Notes first for sponsoring Ask Allison. Um, my partner and I were just talking about this. Um, it was so funny, like I saw this question the next day. Um, it does feel awkward. So explore what it means for them to share it before you look at a thing. And if they want you to look at it together and what they're hoping your response will be. The vast majority of the time, they're wanting you to be impressed with them and or they want you to feel moved by their work. We all have our own tastes and our own levels of expertise. For instance, I went to a performing arts high school. I was a voice major my first year of college before switching to psych. I sang with the Asheville Symphony Chorus. It is hard for me to turn off my critiquing brain with vocals. Um, my mom's an artist. My dad's a songwriter and a musician. I was raised by people who have a certain aesthetic. Um, and while I can't draw a stick figure or play the guitar without looking at my left hand, um, I have some opinions about art and poetry and music, and I can't turn that off. Uh, and you probably have your things too, and that's okay. And a few things uh, impact the way that I respond when clients ask me to look at their stuff. So knowing that my client feels proud of what they created, um, and that's not just a way for them to express themselves, but also that they feel I'm safe to communicate this very vulnerable piece of themselves to, and um, that it, it gives me some insight, yes, and that in sharing it, they're really hoping I'll be impressed with them. So while my arts trained brain may be in the background wishing they'd sung on that vowel for longer or um, internally like raising my eyebrows to raise the pitch a bit, my primary concentration is on what this song and the sharing of this song communicates and what that can mean for our relationship. So whether it's a 15 year old, very 15 year old poetry or a painting you just don't get, uh, exploring these things before the creation is shown and shared um, can help you respond in a way that ultimately strengthens your relationship. So they're like, I've got this podcast, be like, um, and I'd love for you to listen to it, to just be super therapisty and dive into like, what does it mean to you to share it with me? How would it feel to know I've listened? How are you hoping I'm gonna respond? Um, and I think that sometimes we might have some, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Just this sense of like integrity around like the things you like, and this might not fit within that. But like, I try to have some integrity around the art I like, but it doesn't mean that when my four-year-old shows me the rainbow drawing she did, I'm not like, this is so great. I mean, is it a work of art that's going to hang in the mat? No, that's okay. It's still great. So um, finding those middle spaces in order to really truly appreciate what that piece of work is communicating when shared specifically with you. I hope that helps. Um, and in case you guys have missed it, we have a free training to help you fill your practice without being salesy or spending money you don't have. That's over at www.abundanceparty.com slash fill. And if you have questions for Ask Allison, please shoot me a DM over on Instagram where I'm abundance underscore practice underscore building. All right. 